Hey everybody, thank you for joining the Quantiferin event. I uh, just we have a few things to go over. Um, number one, Phlebotomy Services International. Thank you for joining the team. It's, it'll be a blast. We always have a lot of fun at these events. So on these events, it's a Quantiferin goal or QFT event. This is a Quantiferin workflow and the order of draw. I put at the top here gray, red, lavender. If you look down the side, you see it says GRL, um, the greet, identify, relate, label, and shake. So it's GIRLS, G-I-R-L-S. Think of GIRL as your acronym for your order of draw, gray, red, and lavender. We're going to talk about that in the next video. But on GREET, keep the flow moving and greet each patient with a smile and vibrant fun attitude. We want to have a blast. These events are a lot of fun if you make it that way. Um, you have to make it a lot of fun because people don't like to get their blood drawn, especially to get for a TB test. I mean, it's either for an annual test or because there was a contact investigation going on, meaning they've been exposed to TB. That could be a scary thing. So these events have to be a, just a blast. Upbeat, if you have, you know, I'm saying, you know, music, no, not really, but you know, just have a blast, have a lot of fun with it. Especially when you're doing a lot of kids and stuff, you know, if you do a high school, things like that, we do a lot of those just have a blast you know converse with everybody so we're going to go down this list identify the next one identify patients identify very very important verify the patient's name and date of birth relate put yourself in their shoes make them feel comfortable while you are performing the collection talk to them in other words ask them questions about themselves be like you know hey so how's it going today what uh, what classes do you have today you know if you're doing a high school that type of thing um, distract them from what you're doing. Remember, a confident phlebotomist produces patient's confidence in you. In other words, when you're confident, the patient's going to be confident. If you're not confident in what you're doing and in your draw, the patient's going to be leery and going to have, it's going to be harder to get that stick. Be confident in yourself. You know your, you know your work. If you're part of our team, you're the best of the best in the industry. Do it. Go for it. Just do it. It's awesome. Have a blast. Label, most important thing besides identify and relate is label. Do not let the patient leave the chair until every tube is labeled. This ensures proper labeling and never leaves room for a mishap. Don't ever let a patient leave unless every tube is labeled. Okay, last name, first name, date of birth, date of collection, and time of collection. We need those in, that information, especially for this test because we need to know it needs to get into the incubator within 16 hours. Shake, shake the tubes at least 10 times. Yes, shake them, go against the grain on these tubes. Go almost to the point of hemolysis, but not quite. Watch the video in the next segment. It will explain it really in detail, but shake the tubes, don't rock them, shake them. So what we wanna do is talk about the order of draw. Uh, gray top first, red top, then lavender. And the reason being is the gray top is the negative control. The red top is actually your test. And then you have a positive control on the lavender. You have to have all three of these tubes for the test to be effective. And they fill exactly to one mil. So one mil, it's not that much blood. There is a trick to it. You have to make sure they are exact. There's a little black line that shows your one mil. So we'll go ahead and do the draw real quick. I'll go over the process. We're going to show how to draw with a butterfly. There's requirements because if you draw with a butterfly, if you don't discard and get rid of the line, the air in the tubing, your tube is not going to fill to the one mil and we're going to have a, a bad result or a, a quality insufficient test. We're going to just do a draw here really quick. I'm going to take the, I'm going to use a plain red top tube and I'll explain the red top tube here in a moment because I'm using a butterfly Using a butterfly, you have all this space in the tubing. And a little bit. And you have all that space in there. You want to clear out that space. A lot of times what I do is I let it fill up just a little bit. I'll explain why in a moment. So we're going to switch it out. And I'm going to sit and watch and wait and make sure that it gets to that one mil mark. You know, and sometimes these tend to fill a little bit slow just because there's not much pressure in it. I would just cut. 
fill this in and put one bell mark. See, it just doesn't fill too too fast. I'm sitting right smack in the middle of that vein, but it's just not filling up too too fast. And then we're gonna fill up some others in here. This particular patient's getting some extra additional testing, so we're just gonna fill it up here. You always want to run the quantiferins first, and I'll explain that here in a moment as well. But see how these fill up nice and quick. Just because the one mil on the back end just doesn't put much pressure on that. Okay, we have these three tubes. I'm looking at the blood, and we have exactly one mil because the, it's exactly to the black line. And I'm going to take these, and I'm going to shake them in about 10 times, because normally you take and just mix it. These, you want to take, I cover the entire tube itself. If there's any blood in the top, it doesn't come out, but you do it 10 times. That is the most important thing on these tubes. So uh, remember, suggested order of draws from left to right, gray, red, and then lavender. And the reason that it's gray, red, lavender is the gray is the negative control, the red top is the actual test itself, and the lavender top is the positive control. You have to have those. It is not a requirement to be in those orders, but it is a suggestion. Best order of draw, gray, red, lavender. All right, so two sticks, you know, the next one is what if, two sticks max, then on to the, uh, then to another phlebotomist or nurse to do a PPD or a skin test. The reason we say two sticks, you're running an event, you're at an event, you have other phlebotomists there to back you up. So don't do more than two sticks ever, ever on a patient, especially when you have backup. Humble yourself, let the other person do it. Nine out of 10 times, they'll get it the first time. It's like, ah, oh, oh well. You know, you wreck your re reputation, not a big deal. You redeem it next person, next patient. So um, even if even if you have a trouble with one, you know, one stick, if you're not 99% positive, you can get it the second time, move on, let them go on to the next person. No big deal. All right. Next thing, if you're going to be late or can't make it to an event, you better call us immediately. Call Phlebotomy Services immediately, 24 hours a day. 1-855-600-3722, option one gets you to our on-call stat line, 24 hours, 365 days a year. The minute you know you can't make it to an event, we need to know it so we can get backup. We need to, we don't, if we don't have the backup, we're sunk. We need backup for you guys, okay? So what if a patient faints? You know, discreetly get them to the cot, you know, or, or a place to lay down, head lower than the feet, bring the feet up a little bit, Basically, fainting, you know, makes the blood vessels dilate, the blood pressure drops, their head goes, oh, I need some more oxygen. So they pass out, the head goes lower, you get more oxygen to the brain, they wake up. So you want to get the head a little bit lower. Number one thing is comfort them, monitor them. You know, monitor, make sure that they're, you know, not going to be too sick or, you know, make sure that they're waking up after a short, you know, pretty good amount of time or a short period of time. Um, you just want to make sure, monitor them, monitor that they're, they're doing okay. They may still feel a bit wheezy, a little bit sick to their stomach. Um, you know, hand the garbage can if you need, if they need to throw up or whatever, that happens. I mean, multiple different things happen. Most of you have experienced this before with patients. Just go with it, you know. I'm, you know, if there's anything major, you know, then you can refer to some of the nurses that are on site. Um, but, you know, main thing is, is calm and comfort the patient, make sure that they know that, you know, it's okay, it happens. It's not a big deal, no big deal, just make it, you know, you don't wanna scream, oh my gosh. No, anyway, have some fun with it, you know, it, you know, just make him comfort. Overall, the overall event, you have to have fun. So thank you for your time and dedication to Phlebotomy Services International and making our events a success. Our success happens when you succeed. You are the number one key to making all of these events a success. So make it a blast. Make it fun, exciting. Have a lot of fun. Thank you so much for your dedication to, to, to exceptional patient care. Um, and thank you. Have fun. Remember, give us a holler if you need anything.